London, Amsterdam, Sydney, and New York City. She is the award-winning author of the three solo of three solo shows. Teaches high school theater at Regional Center for the Arts. Curve Magazine called her one of America's funniest women. Please welcome Mina Hartong. Give her a hand, Mina. <laughs> Give it up for Patty, our host. Isn't she fantastic? Give it up for Patty, please. Love for Patty. So excited to be here. So I'm a teacher. Are my people here? Are there teachers in the house? Clap for them. They do not get paid. Clap for them. I know you don't want to feel sorry for us in the summer, right? You know, you know I get it. You know, it's like, oh, Mina, you're so lucky. You're a teacher. You get the summer off. You're done at three. Oh, that's funny. Hey, Ms. Hartung, what's up? You look really nice today. This is an awesome day. I think today is the most awesome day of the week. It's so awesome. Josh, are you okay? Oh, I'm okay, Ms. Hartung. I am okay. Hey, nine o'clock, only six hours to go. Clap for us, we do not get paid. Come on, I wanna feel it. I wanna feel it. I've been teaching for 20 years. And the kids are great. I teach high school. It's some of the parents. I hope they're not here. I call them the parents of choice. You know who you are. Right? Everything's a choice. Do you want to go to bed? Do you want to wear a nightgown? Do you want to wear pajamas? Which pajamas do you want to wear? Do you want to sleep here? Do you want to sleep there? Do you want to go to sleep at all? Let's go to a restaurant. Do you want to eat? Do you want to sit here? Do you want to sit there? What is your choice? My mother was like, light my cigarette, pour me a drink, talk to your father. We're not speaking. <laughs> No choices. And all these kids are so anxious and depressed now, right? And I feel for them, I do. My mom is like, you think you're depressed? Try to be married to your father for 15 years. Walk it off. <laughs> right? No choices. What happened to old school parenting? My brothers and I in the back seat, no seat belts. Mom is driving faster over the speed bumps so we'll hit our heads. No concussion, just a reminder of who's in charge. No choices. I remember being picked up for babysitting by Mrs. Browning in her wood paneled station wagon, a drink in her hand while driving. And my dad was like, have fun. I was trying to get coffee today. I was stuck behind a parent of choice. So I see that they have cookies and muffins. Would you like a cookie or a muffin? What is your choice? I want a bagel. Oh, I don't think they have any more bagels left, honey, so mommy needs you to choose. Would you like a chocolate chip cookie or a blueberry? I want a bagel, B-H-E-E-L, bagel. I am so proud of you for being able to spell bagel. But right now, mommy needs you to choose. Do you want a chocolate chip cookie or a blueberry? I want a bagel, 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 bagel. <laughs> mommy can see that you're very upset right now and that you're having a lot of feelings. And mommy sees you and she hears you. But right now, mommy needs you to choose. Do you want a cookie or a... I'm not listening. I'm not listening. Do you have a bagel back there? Like one out of the garbage, you know, just to take from the morning. She won't know the difference. Well, okay, get a piece of bread, cut a hole in it, we'll call it a bagel. How about a bagel chip? Make a bagel chip? My mother would have been like, you want a bagel? Get some Jewish friends. No choices. No choices. My parents have been divorced for about 20 years. Anybody got divorced parents? Give it up for divorced parents. Come on, it's America. Yeah. Oh my God, I just want to let you know that you have not lived until your 75-year-old father asks you if you think your mother might be a lesbian. So, <laughs> Rebecca, wherever you are, put it on your bucket list, okay? My mother has a farm in Vermont, and she, you know, she grows her own vegetables and raises her own animals, and wears a lot of flannel, so we don't know. It's, we don't know, she could be, she could be a lesbian, we just don't know. My father is retired. And uh, he lives in Florida, and he has really good care of himself. He bikes, he swims, he has his own pool. And he's of the belief that if you have your own pool, you have the right to swim naked in it. And I'm not going to begrudge him that. But he'll announce it, that he's going swimming. He calls it going bare ass. Okay? So he'll walk to the house and say, I'm going bare ass, you've been warned. My father can only do the breaststroke, so he's like those Olympic swimmers going up and down. His bare ass is literally in the air. We are all so grateful he hasn't mastered the backstroke yet. 
So my wife couldn't be here tonight. She's half Japanese and half Thai. I call her my part Thai lover. And, you know, thank you. And I, you're so sweet. I've been out for 25 years, and it's been amazing progress, and we're very excited about it. But I do still get these really strange questions from people, like, do you hate men? Like, oh, no, no. That's straight women. I'm a gay woman. Every moment is a teachable moment. I'm Mina Hart. You guys are awesome. That's my time. Thank you so much. Good night.